Okay, so this is take number four. Let's find the absolute maximum and absolute minimum of f of x on this interval. Okay, so to get started, we're just going to find the derivative of f of x and set it equal to zero so that we can find critical numbers. So, of course, we're going to need to use the quotient rule. So let's take the derivative of the top function. The derivative of 2x squared is just 4x. We're going to multiply that by x plus 1. Then we're going to subtract 2x squared times the derivative of x plus 1, which is just 1. And we're going to have that all over x plus 1 squared. So that's just the quotient rule, which I'm sure everyone's very comfortable and confident with. Great, so we're going to make that equal to 0. And I'll distribute the 4x. So 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 1 is 4x. And 2x squared times 1 is just 2x squared. And that's all over x plus 1 squared equaling 0. Now I can cross multiply to get rid of the denominator. So x plus 1 squared times 0 is just 0. So that just goes away. OK, so 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared plus 4x equals 0. And right now, I can factor out a 2x 2x squared divided by 2x is x. And 4x divided by 2x, just 2. And that's equal to 0. So x is either 0 or negative 2. But we're only interested in values between negative half and 3. So we're not going to go for the negative 2 right now. And because we're interested in the absolute maximum and minimum within this interval, we're going to be looking for f of negative half, f of 0, because that's our critical number, and f of 3. Whatever the lowest value is, is the absolute minimum. And whatever the highest value is, is the absolute maximum within the interval. OK, so let's plug in negative half for x. So 2 times negative half squared, all over negative half plus 1. If we simplify, expand, and divide all of this, we're going to get 1. What about f of 0? We can plug in the 0 for x. 2 times 0 squared is just 0, divided by 1, 0 and f of 3. 2 times 3 squared over 3 plus 1. That is 4.5. OK, so 0 is our lowest value. So that is the absolute minimum. So there's an absolute minimum at x equals 0 when f of 0 is 0. And that's the absolute minimum, of course, just 0. And the absolute maximum is 4.5. Absolute maximum when x is equal to 3 of 4.5. That's it.